If you want to stay up to date with the real estate market in Central Kentucky, here it is. Bob Safaya with the New Home Collective. I've got your monthly market update for the month of May 2024. I've got some really interesting statistics on new construction that I think you might want to hear if you're looking to buy a property in the next 12 months. Let's get to it. If you've been here before, I'm going to keep the same format. I've got some new info to add to this. First, we're going to take the entire market. Okay, so the entire market, the amount of new listings was up 7%. Last year in May, there were 1,465. This year, there were 1,500. In 69. The pending sales were up 12.8%. Now, if you go back to last month's market review, you'll hear me telling you that this is what's going to happen. When we have more listings, we have more pending sales. Because there's the demand, we're still sitting around, you know, just a little over a month's worth of inventory. So when we're in a month of inventory, that makes it a seller's market. Those houses are still selling. Last year, there was 1,151 properties that went pending. This year, 1,298. Now, we're talking about the 30-county radius of the Bluegrass Realtors MLS. When I'm talking these numbers, we're talking about 30 counties. You know, the major market counties would be, you know, uh, Lexington, Richmond, uh, Somerset, uh, Winchester, Nicholasville, and everywhere in between. So here's another thing. The days on market went up four days, okay? So we're starting to see a little lag. I mean, those interest rates still haven't softened. In fact, I saw some that said the rates might go above 7% uh, before they get better. So another thing, the average sales price. So the average sales price for our entire market went up. In 2023, it was 281, 781. This year, in May, it's 311, 552. So that's an increase of 10.6%. Let's move on to Lexington. It's funny that the, the numbers are still going up. There were 16% more listings in Lexington than there were in 2023. There were 336 new listings in May of 23. This year, there were 425. The pending sales, that's, that's, a, that's an increase of 16%. That's where we were last month, 16% increase. I love to see those numbers. That means we're going to have more sales. Now, here's the thing. This is something that I noticed. The pending sales didn't follow that same trend. 336 went live in May of 23, or went pending. This year, only 343. So that's only a 2% increase. And if you remember last month, we had a, I think the percentage of was 16% last month that we were up. So it definitely didn't follow the listings the way that we normally see it follow the listings. Now, the average sales price increased very similar to the entire market. It was up 9.7%. So we were up uh, average sales price of 349, 561. This year, 383, 403. The days on market in Lexington, and this is a reflection, right? Uh, we're up 10 days. Went from 13 to 23, the average days on market. So houses are sitting on, instead of them being on the house, uh, on, the, on the market uh, two weeks, they're on the market a little over three weeks. So now here's, here's something that I thought was interesting. And this is something that I want to bring into this uh, is new construction. Because I accidentally pulled the numbers with new construction. Now, all those numbers I went over just now were pending, were, were existing homes. The new construction is not following the same trend. New listings for the entire market. So new, new, new construction. There were only a hundred, there were 103 this year in May, uh, new listings for new construction. In May of 2023, there were 149. So that's a decrease of 30%. Here's another one. 148 houses, new construction houses went pending in 23. In May of 2024, only 70 houses went pending. That's a decrease of 50%. Now, here's the interesting thing. This is what I wanted to share with you. That in itself, to me as a home buyer, creates an opportunity, right? When I look at that and I say, okay, only 50% of the houses that sold last year in May sold this year. Well, that's got to put a little, that's got to put something on the pricing, right? Well, guess what? The average sales price went down on new construction from 437, and this is for our entire market, to 377. That's a decrease of 13%. The sold listings, the sold new construction listings in May, there were 120 or 32 in 2023. In 2024, there's 110. So to me, I'm looking at that and I'm saying, wow, there's got to be an opportunity buying new construction right now. If, if, if the numbers decreased in that 
I mean, by that amount, here's another one. Let's, let's look at them for Lexington. So in Lexington, new construction. So in May of 23, 55 new construction properties hit the market. This year, 30 hit the market. So that's a decrease of 45%. Pending sales, 47 hit the market in May of 23. In May of 2024, only 13 went pending. That's a 72% decrease. Looking at the pricing. So the pricing, I mean, we're looking at the same thing here, right? So the average sales price was 570,853 in 2023. This year, in May, 481,617. That's a decrease of 15% on the average sales price. I just wanted to throw that opportunity out there for you. If you're looking for a new home, maybe that new home is new construction. I've never said that before, but you know, looking at this, looking at these numbers, seems like there's an opportunity for new home or new construction. The other thing, these are just general numbers, right? I'm pulling a, I'm pulling a report off our MLS. I'm putting the numbers out there. If you want specific numbers on your property, we're here for you. We're here for you. There's never an obligation to work with us. Uh, there's never an obligation to uh, sign any papers or sell your house through us. There's never an obligation to buy a house through us, but we want to be that resource for you. Just to remind you, a lot of the properties that are selling, and this, this is part of the thing with the numbers, right? These are the numbers that are reported to the MLS. The numbers that aren't reported to the MLS, I'm talking about off-market deals. There's builders that are selling houses off-market. There's consumers that are selling houses off-market. A lot of people are choosing to sell their house off-market to avoid the hassles. And there's an advantage to that. And the advantage would be time and convenience. So if time and convenience is more important to you than netting the most money, we have that option available for you. And you just have to tell us time and convenience. I also want to extend the offer of resources. I mean, we have resources in every single different aspect of the real estate world. We're talking about attorneys. We're talking about uh, people that clean gutters. We're talking about people that do siding, people that can repair your refrigerator, people that can uh, get water out of your crawl space, people that can fix the structure of your home. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And if you ever need help in any of those fields, please let me know. I got two calls last month about people that wanted information about their taxes. They got tax bills. One was 483% higher than when they purchased it a couple of years ago, 483%. So I've been working to find information find uh, comps to help them offset that increase and uh, get with the PVA and and get uh, data to help them lower their taxes. So I'm also available for that. As always, please, if you find this interesting, click the like button. If there's something that you don't like about it or something you'd like to add to it, just drop it in the comments or give me a call. My information is in the description and uh, look forward to serving. See you next month.